So in section 4.5, we are looking at L'Hopital's Rule. So before we begin our explorations of L'Hopital's Rule, we need to recall what undefined limits are. So we'll keep in mind here. Undefined limits are called indeterminate or indeterminate forms. So in other words, they are nonsense. Right? Undefined limits such as one over zero are nonsense or indeterminate. So we can say some common examples that we will see in this course are plus or minus infinity over infinity, one over zero, zero to the zero, one to the infinity, infinity minus infinity, infinity times zero, and there is many, many more. So these are just a few of the common indeterminate forms that we need to be on the lookout for. And the reason that we're reviewing this is that L'Hopital's rule requires that a limit be indeterminate before it can be applied. So we'll take a quick look at our definition here. We have, we want to go ahead and let both f and g be differentiable functions of x. So L'Hopital's rule says that if the limit as x approaches some point x naught of the quotient f of x divided by g of x, if this limit is equal to an indeterminate form, So if we evaluate this limit and we see that it's equal to nonsense, like we saw up here, so if it's equal to one of these forms, then we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So we can say, let me give myself a little bit more room. So you can say, then L'Hopital's rule allows us to evaluate the following, or to evaluate the limit in the following manner. So then we are able to take the limit as x approaches x naught of the derivative of the function in the numerator all over the derivative of the function in the denominator. And we can continue until we can evaluate the limit. So we said we can. So we continue with this method until we can evaluate the limit. And we have our two conditions here. If we're able to show that the limit is equal to one of the indeterminate forms, then L'Hopital's rule allows us to take the derivative of the numerator by the derivative of the denominator and evaluate or continue to apply this method until we can evaluate. And just one more thing here. I want you to exercise caution as you practice. So word to the wise, be sure to evaluate in between each limit. So be sure to evaluate after each L'Hopital's rule 
and I'm going to abbreviate this as LAHOP. So you want to be sure to evaluate after each L'Hopital or LAHOP to avoid false conclusions. All right, and now we are ready for some examples.